pleasure of being the director of the Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy Greenway Conservancy. And it's great to have so many old friends and new friends here tonight to talk about a, the a next phase in bringing people together in this brand new state park. In the four seasons that the Greenway Parks have been open to the public, the Conservancy has always worked on two fronts. Beauty, delivered with the best commitment to sustainability, public health, financial sustainability as well, that we can muster at the time, and connection. Beauty and connection, kind of two hands clapping. Connection being the connection, encouraging the connections between families, family members, between neighbors, between individuals who may not know one another yet, uh, but meet on the Greenway, between the city uh, and its harbor, uh, between uh, Boston's residents and our visitors. And it, in our now fourth season, I think um, I will say that the Greenway has never looked better. And we continue to be committed to doing even better. And we can do even better with the help of our extraordinary horticulture staff, our horticulture and maintenance staff, and with our Green and Grow apprentices, apprentices and with our volunteers. Uh, couldn't do it without them. And speaking of volunteers, uh, you might have caught some of these pictures of uh, National Public Land Day, which is a volunteer day last Saturday, where over 50 volunteers came to work throughout the Greenway. And I'd like to thank the Friends of the North End Park for seven volunteers, Leslie College, seven volunteers, Boston Cares, 14 volunteers, and our own Conservancy <coughs> Volunteer Program for 25 volunteers. Yeah. In spite of the weather, it had been very, very wet that morning, we got a lot of, a lot done uh, working alongside these wonderful volunteers. We're heading into the fall, and we will be buttoning down <coughs> the fountains and our irrigation system for the season in within four weeks or so. But there's still so much fun for you to have on the Greenway. So let me uh, ask you to try to uh, put these in your schedule. Boston Local Food Festival is this Sunday. It's organized by the Sustainable Business Alliance of Massachusetts. And this will be its third year, but its first year on the Greenway. Uh, in the past two years where they've been on the Fort Point Channel close to the Children's Museum, it, there were 10, 15,000 people. It's supposed to be a beautiful day this Saturday, and there's more, uh, more green space, more elbow room. Uh, please come. It's going to be just incredibly fun. It, it is Sunday. It is Sunday, <laughs> October 7th. <laughs> It's a good thing I have a gentle prompt from the crowd. Thank you, Jesse, our chief operating <coughs> officer, uh, Jesse Brackenberry, keeping me on track. Uh, among the other wonderful things about this event on Sunday is a variety of food samplers available at $5 and so. So please come. Uh, you will see 120 <coughs> vendors, restaurants, nonprofits, growers, and food preparation demonstrations. And then if you're not full enough, uh, or putting it differently, you can go running for an entire week or six days. And then on Saturday, uh, please come back on the 13th for the food truck throwdown. <laughs> very serious. Uh, it, uh, very serious and very fun. Organized by our cupcake queen, Sarah Ross. Uh, she has uh, brought together local food trucks, seven of them, to go toe to toe or truck to truck uh, with seven food trucks from New York City. <laughs> so it may not be happening in Yankee Stadium, but it's happening on the Greenway, and we're putting our money on Boston's food trucks, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. right. Right? Right. <laughs> the 
will be competition and judging, and that will be in Dewey Square from 11 to 9 p.m. on that Saturday the 13th. So, I mentioned that the Greenway is all about beauty and connection. And clearly, public art is one intersection of both these commitments. Shortly, I'll turn over to Young Park, a key member of the Greenway Public Art Working Group, to open this feature of our annual meeting and to introduce our speakers. In the meantime, I have the pleasure of making two very happy and very practical announcements. First, this year's public art program is nearly completely funded. Thanks to a very generous continuing gift from the New England Fund for the Arts and a gift from two people who are in our audience this evening, Doris and Bob Gordon. Thank you so very much. And if that isn't enough, the Gordons have decided to extend their support for public art on the Greenway through a, a multi-year gift. Thank you so much. Over this next year, we will continue to work with artists, art administrators, art advocates, the public, neighborhoods, and funders to find, define and redefine and define again the future directions of public art on the Greenway and how fast it can grow. Meanwhile, we have two important first projects and opportunities for artists that to share with you this evening in Kate Gilbert's presentation. The Greenway Public Art Initiative has been shaped by many, many good people over the last 10 months of different talents and backgrounds, but all are believers in the value of public art for our great city. Young will speak more about the Public Art Working Group, but I would like just to add my personal and sincere thanks to every one of those members. And I'd also like to call out uh, people who have worked so hard to make everything that you're going to see tonight such a great step into the future. Caitlin, little John Kearney. Caitlin, where are you? Caitlin, our visual arts manager. Linda Joan Ash, Director of Planning and Design. Linda, raise your hand, please. And Kate Gilbert, artist, former colleague, and a, uh, the person in back of the planning process as our manager. So thank you so much. 